all right y'all so i know i'm a little late sorry i literally just came back from the gym um but yeah so easton and mono now i'm sure you guys are already seen what they do i'm sure you know you've seen other youtubers but i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinion on the easton and mono and i'm just gonna tell you guys how i feel about them so i guess we'll just start off with easton right so this is supposedly a brand new easton this is not the same easton she's um you know the empress of the ocean easton which i really like I, I like easton she's my favorite number one um you know female character in the game she's number one waifu but i feel like this card like this unit itself is not gonna be as crazy she might she might end up being you know you know absolutely nuts but on paper she does not look that good so um let's start off with her passive so she reduces the damage taken for every seven catastrophe ally by three percent for every ultimate move gauge orb in battle now i don't i don't know if this means just her ultimate move gauge or if it's all seven catastrophes ultimate move gauge because if that's the case that's a 45 percent damage reduction across the board at max you know if everyone has max ultimate move gauge right so that's pretty damn good that's impressive actually so if it's that like if it's like that that's good but if it's her own ultimate move gauge orb you're only going to get a 15 percent damage reduction which i'm pretty sure it's just hers i'm pretty sure it's just hers right well no no it actually might be every single catastrophe ally because it says for every ultimate move gauge orb in battle okay all right she okay you know what i'll give her that if that's the case her passive is nuts so yeah we'll see how that you know how that is in um in the actual game itself not a lot of people run just seven catastrophes so we'll see um her first skill is a you know ult depletion skill which you know is not going to be the greatest but at least she has some viability taking away ultimate move gauge orb. So same thing as Red Zeldris, Green uh, Merlin, etc., etc. is what she has. Her second skill is a new type of skill. So it's a AOE attack, but the debuff is oxidation. So what this does, it ranks down enemy skills at the end of their turn. And for every skill that was ranked down, inflicts damage equal to 30% of max HP. So if this is the case for every skill ranked down i don't know if this stacks <laughs> but if it does if you rank down let's say two opponents cards right um you you know let's say you rank down two of the one escanor's cards right would he take 60 percent of max damage like i don't know <laughs> i i don't I don't think it stacks. I, I think it's just one debuff and that's it. But if it stacks, that's going to be insane. Like, that's actually going to be insane. And then her ultimate is, um, you know, a flood single target. So I believe Sigurd has this. So yeah, um, Easton's okay. She's definitely okay. Um, I have to see how she performs in game when, you know, YouTubers showcase her and stuff like that. I don't know if a lot of people are going to like showcase her on the seven catastrophes team, but we'll see, right? we will see but for now i think she's okay i feel like she's just version two of the red easton we have in game already though i feel like she's a a lot better version of easton right the red easton we have in game but the red easton that we have currently has a cleanse so that's where i think you know she shines but this one it has a lot of damage potency right a lot more damage potency than the one we have currently so um all in all i would say she's a pretty you know decent unit i'll have to see how she performs in game but yeah she's you know she doesn't sound too impressive on paper but you know she might end up being crazy well, who knows who knows now mono mono is green that's the one thing too she's red which is kind of a big cuck but mono is green so mono's passive if allies in battle are all seven catastrophes when allies receive damage from attack skills increases all of the hero stats by three percent so all in all she can increase her stats up to 30 percent yeah that's insane so she literally can go up to 30 percent the only thing is you have to take damage which i'm not a fan of at all because nowadays you take damage you can literally get one shot it so 
What the C? I don't know how good Mono's basics, like her substats are. I don't actually know how good her substats are. Give me a second. Um, I don't really look at Mono a whole lot. Um, but I think she's. Does she have good substats? Let's see. Um, she has a lot of crit defense. Okay. She has good life star base. All right. Let's see. Level 86 star again. I mean, it's not the worst. It's definitely like definitely could be better. Her pierce rate sucks. Um, okay. All right. There's a chance that she could get buffed as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, so that's a pretty okay passive. The only thing is everyone has to be seven catastrophes and you have to take damage. So I don't know. She kind of reminds me of Mikasa in a way. Like, you know what I mean? Like she takes, um, she gets buffed by allies receiving damage. That's what she reminds me of. She reminds me of Mikasa. So her first skill is just a spike damage um, card. So she's gonna, you know, do two times the crit damage if she does crit. Um, and then her ult or her second skill is a sever AOE, which is really good actually. That's actually really really good. And her ultimate's the same as the other mono. She just inflicts bleed. So, I mean, really these units. Um, <sighs> mono's basic. She's very basic. She's a damage dealer. Easton is like, she, you know, <laughs> she's interesting. She's she's very interesting in a way, right? She reduces damage. She has this new debuff, which is good. She can reduce ultimate move gauge orbs, and then she has flood single target ultimate, which is actually probably going to be very strong. Um, so yeah. And then Mono, like I said, she's a straight damaging unit. She's gonna, the chances of her critting, I don't know, cause a lot of units have a lot of crit resistance now, right? She does have really good crit chance. And then if you know, you get her passive to go off, she's gonna have a very, very good um, chance to crit. So I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to see. But so far, I'm thinking um, this is banner is kind of a skip. I'm not gonna lie. It It's a threat out of 600 banner, by the way. So it's not a step up. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking it's a skip for sure for sure i'm thinking it's a skip so if you're thinking about summoning don't um but yeah units are interesting now another thing i wanted to bring up right is this so this right here why the actual fuck did they give the one escanor this type of passive with his holy relic ignores 30 percent of enemies defense when using skills in pvp why literally why why he wasn't it's like he wasn't strong enough before we need to buff him how do we do that oh i know we're just gonna make him ignore 30 percent of the enemy's defense honestly i think i would have rather him just have an extra stack or something to his passive like ignoring 30 percent he might as well just have charge like <laughs> he might as well they might as well just said you know what inflicts charge on all skills like, literally, that's insane. Easton and Mono also have a um, Holy Relic as well. So, Easton, she increases um, her own attack by 10% of all enemies' attack, which, I mean, with this, this could be interesting. I don't know, but for, um, I don't really think that's all that impressive. And then Mono, if she crits, she applies Corrosion equal to 20% of max HP for one turn. Um yeah yeah that's really good for this green mono i'm not gonna lie that's gonna actually make her very very good yeah the only thing is with margaret she can just cleanse you know the corrosion and she can cleanse this new debuff oxid oxidation right so keep that in mind keep that in mind but yeah that's pretty much it so i don't know let me know what you guys think of these units down below in the comments you guys think they're impressive you guys think they're gonna be gods here let me know like i said this is a definite skip in my opinion but you know you do you yeah if you enjoyed go ahead and leave a like um and that's it guys i'll see you later